Is clay bad? Uh, yes. Let's start off with that. So here is to give you an example, right? So the left side is the part where I tried to burst clay with Laplace. And this Laplace that we are testing right now, I had a, fortunately, we had some viewer that actually managed to share with us someone with a phase two Laplace. So skill two and burst skill are on phase two. So that, that just kind of helps prove a little bit of some point to it. Not, not much point, but it is still some point to it. Phase three is definitely where we want Laplace to be, but that's okay. The left side is where clay is bursting alongside with Laplace and then the right side is when Rem is constantly bursting. So I'm using this team in particular, Litter, Clay, Laplace, Rem, Red Hood and I'm kind of just using Red Hood as kind of like an anchor for DPS so to make sure that it's still somewhat like uh, consistent. Basically, we did more damage with Rem bursting. Now you could argue that that's just also personal damage but my Laplace was also gaining more damage as opposed to clay and this is with the clay with a consistently they're both level 200 right like it's the same thing it's just a different order on who's bursting the left side is clay bursting a little bit uh, alongside with Laplace and then the right side is Rem with always and then we're just using clay for her skill 1 and skill 2 but overall it's still consistent in terms of that and i want to see was clay really worth using to be bursting and the answer right now at least for laplace is it's not worth for the her even though that clay does buff the true damage there's like so many other things that is just not included this is a very small true damage buff on the burst skill there is another problem with skill one and essentially skill two initially when i was doing a pre-analysis i was telling how you can pretty much like almost have like a 100 percent uptime on it there's some flaws to it so let's start off with the skill one issue so here's the thing you need to get full stacks on it so that you're on this clay skill one so that you can maximize the true damage buff right however to get one stack of the skill one you have to be during full burst time and you have to land 60 normal attacks 60 normal attacks is actually equal to in an smg it takes like three seconds and for that to happen then that means that in order to get full stacks it, you need to get nine seconds and again at the, we're talking about at the beginning of full burst so you're stacking from zero stacks at the beginning of full burst and then getting to max stacks at the end of full burst it's gonna take nine seconds before you get the full stacks of her skill one and the skill one again is the true damage buff. Now another thing is the skill two, but for skill two you only need one stack. So it needs it takes at least like three seconds before you get the skill two, which is the attack increase. If you wanna make it so that you have the skill one at the beginning of the next full burst, there's like such tight conditions before you even get to do it. One, the first condition is before the full burst ends on the current one. You hope that you're going to be doing your 60th shot so that you can refresh the stacks on the skill one. And then two, you have to do full burst within three seconds, which is doable. Technically, it's doable because with litter, it is possible to get into full burst within three seconds. But I'll tell you, as someone who has been doing solar raid to that, you have to be very accurate in terms of min maxing your energy gain like for example you should be controlling your sniper rifle or rocket launcher and then before the end of full burst you have to be pre-charging a full charge and then you, you do quick fire so that you can catch that full burst consistently good luck with that <laughs> and then the other is after that you can do after you get into that th within three seconds then you have to do a full burst again and then you have to make sure that she is not reloading or anything and then refresh the stack within three seconds before you totally drop that. In other words, it's pretty much impossible. It's pretty much impossible under like majority, like normal player circumstances, it's almost impossible to do this. Yeah, don't even try. So the main thing is you're not gonna have a 100% uptime on this. 
on this skill one and skill two. So what does that mean? What that means is whenever Laplace starts bursting, it's gonna take at least nine seconds before she can get a maximum stacks on her skill one. Laplace burst was pretty much ending by that point. And without phase three, you're actually not gonna be able to make sure that you have a full stacks because the hero vision only lasts for five seconds so you're, it's it's almost like impossible with just phase two and you're, you're gonna need phase three on laplace also to to get the maximum benefit on that but even then by the time you finish your full stacks on skill one laplace burst was almost done who is gonna be benefiting of this the only other way that you can kind of alleviate that issue is to increase your stacks somehow one way or another for example like with snow buddy mika which can increase the stacks every 7.5 seconds so there is a way to kind of like extend it but it's just not worth it so like really right now the tldr is her multipliers kind of suck. The skill one and skill two are gonna be inconsistent. And the skill two, for a low buffer, it's a inconsistent uptime. Like for example, I would rather have like Maxwell, which has a 40% attack increase on the DPS. Like even if you're using Maxwell as a buffer, just a buffer and she's not bursting, she would provide more than clay and then the true damage right now there's like almost pretty much no one that's really going to be benefiting off it really there's Freema at best and also laplace but i also mentioned that they're not going to be taking full advantage of it also like it takes a while to for it to ramp up and you're just not going to get the full benefit of it so until they release like other units that are true damage bonus like i cannot see clay to be worth it now they could totally do a 180 on us and like suddenly release like some high quality true damage dealers but even then i would probably just get like an attack buffer at that point or like attack damage buff or something right there's so many other units and if it's like a sniper rifle or rocket launcher like that needs attack speed or charge speed alice is also a good choice just save your resources it's crazy how they would release a new unit that no one will use. Yeah, I think it's really an issue with shift up. They are trying to force themselves to release units every two weeks. And I do think that this is causing them to like, oh, we got to put some crappy units here or whatever. And I feel like that's really the wrong way to approach it. I'd rather have these units that have like really good designs, right? Their, their designs are pretty good and then they're being wasted because they're forced to release crappy units every two weeks just to upkeep their new unit schedule. It's a very shitty design philosophy that they have. I could totally understand it because they just want money and like people are going to be spending for these shitty ass units that are not even like worth considering because oh we gotta gotta get that mlb for the uh for the lobby or whatever but i feel like they would earn way more money if they release like a good unit or like a good looking unit with really good stats also the lobby though yeah i mean you know it is what it is so tldr save your resources for summer i think it's safe to save it it's just not worth there's so many other better burst through buffers right now also that you can use and the main niche that i could see is when they're putting in some debuff mechanics on the boss i could totally see that but even if they're buffing through damage i don't think it's her buff is worth enough that it's worth to replace like another good buffer